my name is Navigator, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this week's update for Fallout 76. We'll take a look in the Atomic Shop, and then after, if we pick anything interesting up, we'll show it off, and we'll go over the new weekly challenges as well. With all that being said, let's get into this. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, some new st- oh, yo! That's a boat, let's go! Okay, alright. Let's see what we got here. Disaster Rock Bundle. Seems like it comes with all of the new-ish stuff. We'll take a look at that all individually. What is this, though? Guild Headquarters. Oh, it's the Katie Inkwell thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with her outfit, though. That's very unfortunate. But let's see what all this is. So, the Bulwark. Seems to be some kind of just very basic prefab for a boat. That is actually really cool, though. I do like that a lot. Might have to see how that is. Uh, the Mirelurk Steamer. Generates Mirelurk food. Not bad. And it looks pretty cool, too, I gotta admit. I do like how that looks. And what else do we have here? Ohio River Adventure Dock. That's pretty cool. Plank Partition. Ooh, those. Oh, yeah. We're definitely picking that up. Tire Road Sign. Not bad at all. How much is this bundle? And does this come with everything? Yeah, it does. We're just going to pick up this bundle, folks. The Disaster Dock Bundle. I think I said Disaster Rock. I apologize. Um, doesn't seem like there's really anything else going on, though. Oh, the Reclaimed Backyard. If you guys want a little camp pet, you can get the Fetch Collectron in that bundle. Fallout First. Uh, oh, there's some stuff that came back. The Jukebox. That's not terrible. Uh, nah, I don't think I'll want to pick that up. Ooh, Steel Dawn Army Fatigues. I don't know if I had this. Yeah, from the 2020 Fortifying Atlas event. Awesome. Let's pick that up. That is great. Love having a new outfit. Wow, okay, so not a bad week. Let's go check out what this stuff is about. Not a bad week at all, folks. Interesting. Some very cool stuff. I gotta say, those partitions, they're gonna come in handy very well. Although I wanna see how this boat looks. Gonna have to take a look at that. Loading in my private world here. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say. Um, do you guys know a wrestler by the name of Nick Gage? I don't know if you guys watch wrestling at all. I'm not like a massive fan of it, but I heard a story about this guy. He's like a wrestler, and he was really down on his luck. Bro walked into a bank without a mask on and was like, give me the money. And they gave it to him, and then he just dipped. I don't know. Crazy story. It's kind of off topic, but... Trying to make some conversation and make light of this long time that we're going to be waiting here in the uh, loading screen. All right, here we go. We're back. And I think that, yes, I do have a camp down here where I can throw this stuff down. So let's activate that if I can. Come on, baby. Oh, don't tell me that. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's fast travel over here and we will see what we're working with. Still trying to work on this prefab here, but I can honestly just get rid of it for now. So let's make some space. I'll delete that, and let's go to new here. And can I put down the boat on land? Yes, you can. All right, sweet. So we'll throw that down. Throw that down. The Mirelurk cooker. The tire road sign. The dock. Let's kind of make a, a two-part thing of it. And then these partitions. Let's see, there's different variants of it, right? Let's see what all the variants are. Alright, there we go. Let's start with the boat. Why don't we do that? So yeah, pretty decent. You can put it on land, put it in the water if you really wanted to. And then hopping on here, there is some flat land here. So you could throw some decent stuff in here. Uh, you could probably throw a bed in here if you really wanted to in the cabin. And then up here, there's plenty of room as well. I'm not really sure what else to say, though. Still got the rig and the mast and all that. That's really cool to see. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Very cool to see. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to say. It doesn't really do anything. It's the same kind of uh, boats that we see, or the same kinds of boats that we see on the river along the map. But yeah, so there you go. Very nice, though. I do like that a lot. I'll probably be making a camp out of this one day over on the river. But what else do we have? So this is a tire road sign. Pretty basic. Flush with the ground, and then you can throw some, uh, some text on there if you really wanted to. Not bad, though. Love having signs. Love signs. Here we go with a nice little dock, and it has the uh, the buoys that are hanging off of it. It's got a life preserver there. 
some hooks around the side, and I believe they're going to be different ver uh, variants, kind of like the partitions that we'll see here in a second. But there you go. Really cool, actually, I will say. And I love how this stuff works on land, too, and in water. Really cool to have that, kind of a hybrid item. Let's see what this is doing. All right, so nothing you can, like, you know, interact with it, I guess, but there's just kind of like a Meyer Lurk that chills in there. It just steams, I guess, and uh, over time it will periodically make what I'm assuming is going to be cooked or steamed hams. I mean, uh, Meyer Lurk meat. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, I'm just joking. But there you go. Definitely a very interesting and unique looking item, I have to say, and I'll probably end up throwing this in here, or the prefab that I did have here previously. And then what is this? I think it's an overgrown plushie. Yeah, that's what it is. Pretty cool. I love, have a plushie collection myself, so it's nice to add another one to it. That's really cool. I like how that looks, too. It's a great size, I will say. But these, these are, in my opinion, going to be the highlight of the week because these are very realistic-looking items, and uh, they're kind of like what you'll see around raider camps, although they have more of a marine theme to it, kind of like a ocean boating theme. They still come in handy a lot. You could use them as fences. You could use them to kind of cover parts of your base, but very nice. We have kind of a barbed wire topped variant here with some uh, steel plating on it. Uh, this one's kind of got barbed wire as well, but just pretty basic along with the rest of these. Just very basic ones, but still. This one, at the very least, you could wrap your camp in that, and there you go. Kind of like a raider-themed barricade to it, so not bad. But there you go. So the, oh, is that the something dock, I don't know, Dusky Dock. I don't know, I'm thinking about Fortnite right now. But yeah, that was a really cool bundle, I do have to say. A lot of great items. And you know what? I did call it yesterday. I said that I was holding out hope for this week to be decent, and it definitely was. This made my week some really cool stuff here, stuff that is very useful for a lot of people. So there you go. All right, before we wrap the video up, let's go take a look at the weekly challenges. Let's see what we have. So, collect right away a Radex. Easy. Fuel tanker gas canister, go up to Sylvian Sun's logging compound. There's a bunch of them there. Collect a teapot, I'm not sure about that one. Daily operations, just do one a day. You'll get it done or do them all in the same, you know, line. I don't know. Critical hit to an enemy, that one might be a little bit difficult personally. I might just re-roll that. But then again, you can just, you know, stay in vats the whole time. And every time that your crit meter fills up, you just spam it. Drink tea. Uh, if you go and do sweet, well, actually, no, I'm going to be able to just get this one done right now. Let's see if I have any Sweetwater Special Brew or whatever it is. No, I do not, unfortunately. But if you go and do the uh, the Sweetwater Daily Quest, you should be able to get enough tea to complete that. Kill a Legendary Enemy. That should be pretty easy. Uh, repair Armor Weapons or Power Armor. In my opinion, just make, like, ten boards and then, like, I don't know, repair them or something or just, like, no, no, better yet, go do an event and pick up all the weapons and then bring them back and repair them if you can. And scrap pre-war money. Off the top of my head, I can't... Oh, um, Pleasant Valley claim tickets. Go to Pleasant Valley if you have a bunch of the claim tickets and just keep spamming it and eventually you'll get 50 pre-war pre money. They, they give you pre-war money for every time that you redeem one of those tickets. So there you go, not bad. And then you can pause the video if you wanted to take a look at the daily challenges. And honestly, some of these are very similar to the weekly ones, so I would definitely play today and get a lot of these done. There you go, folks. Quick review. We got these partitions here. We got the docks, the tire sign, and then, of course, the uh, boat prefab, I guess you'd call it, the Mylurk steamer, and then the overgrown plushie. What does this guy want? These guys, I should say. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is my property. I'm not going to let you guys impede on it. Stand my ground. Yeah, there you go. All right, folks. Well, that is all that I have today. We have really awesome, really awesome week for the Atomic Shop, I do have to admit. And, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see what the following weeks will bring. And once again, as a reminder, this weekend from January 11th until January 15th, we will have a double mutations and gold rush weekend. As always, folks, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.